these are 23 myths about radioactivity. One, almost everyone will be suddenly killed. There may be high casualties at a nuclear blast site, but there will be many more survivors. It's likely EMP would be used to knock out power, electronic devices, and communications. Two, most people will be killed by the bomb blast, thermal radiation, or radioactivity. Most deaths would be delayed by months, even years. Then there would be fatalities from exposure, starvation, plagues, and anarchy. Three, you can build an adequate shelter in your basement. Unless designed for it, basements don't provide adequate protection. An expedient shelter will help at three feet below ground level. Four, you must filter the air coming into a shelter to remove the fallout. A properly designed intake will allow very few particles to pass. A damp sheet or cloth will remove the remaining radioactive particles. Five, water would become radioactive. Radioactive particles do become suspended in water, so a stored supply of water is best. Later, there are methods to make the water safe to use. Six, there would be no dangerous radioactivity after a couple of weeks. While some knowledge is needed, safe guidelines will protect you. Close exposure to low levels for long periods will also be fatal. Children are especially vulnerable. 7. Radiation sickness is not contagious, so there is no danger in assisting those affected. While not contagious, radiation sickness can cause a compromised, vulnerable immune system. Eight, food exposed to radiation becomes radioactive and therefore not edible. Contained food can be washed before opening. It is protected. Unsealed open food is unsafe. Nine, if you have a special radiation suit, you will be protected from radiation. Radiation suits are to prevent contamination in the shelter. They will not protect you from radiation. 10. New crops of food grown in future years won't be radioactive. Food that is harvested or grown exposed to fallout absorbs it. There will be many variables for future crops. 11. There is no such thing as a fallout pill. Taking potassium iodide will protect the thyroid gland. Twelve. There is a fallout pill that will protect you from all radioactivity. Maybe sometime in the future, but it doesn't exist now. Thirteen, there would be dangerous radioactivity for thousands of years. This depends on many factors. How much, how quickly, how long, and what type of radiation. Fourteen, there would be no dangerous radioactivity after a couple of years. Cesium-137 and strontium-90 are both a big problem for the food chain. Fifteen, you are prepared if you have a two-week emergency supply of food stored. Gardening, preserving, and preparation skills are even more important for your continued survival. Sixteen, you should be prepared to be self-sufficient and be able to survive on your own. 
Your chances for survival are greater with groups. Resources, protection, and support are more readily available. 17. Any survivors would have to live for the rest of their lives underground. There are no fixed answers. It depends on contamination, the number of people, and the size of the shelter that's needed. 18. Life after doomsday won't be worth living. Survival may not be easy, but life will go on. It's up to you what you make of it. 19. You need not make any preparation because you're either going to die in the Holocaust or be saved. It's your choice what you choose to believe. Twenty. The bombs today are so large they will destroy the world. But it is unlikely that all weapons will be used to create total destruction. Twenty-one. You will receive adequate warning from your government. Without any adequate fallout shelters or supplies provided by our government, we are abandoned. 22. You will receive no warning and no hope if you do. For those paying attention, there are signs of the times and the choice of being prepared. 23. One of the primary targets will be nuclear power plants. While possible, it would be counterproductive. Creating a wasteland is pointless and there are other weapons to use. Thank you for watching, and please remember that Art 2 is not just about your survival, it is also about the preparation for the Reconstruction Society.